Only on ABC 15, a Valley Hospice taking new steps to care for its patients. It'll be the first in the state to use medical marijuana. ABC 15, Sarah Goldenberg is live to explain this. And Sarah, it sounds like they had to jump through a lot of hoops to get this far. Yeah, well, Katie, medical marijuana is tightly regulated by the state, so the hospice had to get registered and train its employees. The next step, finding patients who are willing to give it a try and who qualify to use it. It's not easy for Rafael Samaniego to get around. It's a lot of pain that go all the way down from my feet, all the way down here. He's tried everything to make it go away. The changes, the medication, they don't, they, they don't heal. So now he's considering something else, medical marijuana. I need something to take this pain away from me, please. <laughs> That's something comprehensive hospice can help with. Dr. Margaret King is screening possible patients for their new program. She says medical marijuana can give patients more energy and comfort. And pain relief is where I think we're going to probably see our biggest call for this medication. Dr. King says it can be habit forming for about 10% of patients and it can create anxiety and increased heart rate. It's not always abs absolutely safe, but you know, we have to weigh the risks and benefits, and ultimately, it's the patient who decides if they want to proceed with that. Just like nature. Some hospice patients are ready to give it a try. I'm not interested in being medicated by uh, what I call non-natural ways. They say it's worth it if it will make getting older a little less painful. That's the goal. If you can't do it gracefully, don't do it. <laughs> Comprehensive hospice had to get approval from the Arizona Board of Pharmacy and meet several state requirements. From here, they'll review patient cases, making sure they meet the qualifications. Then the state decides whether to accept them and give those patients medical marijuana cards. Sarah, thank you.